Hello students, welcome to MGC Learning. Today we will study the last function of management that is controlling from Standard 12th Chapter 2 OCM subject. Controlling is one of the most essential qualities required in a manager which allows him to direct and control actions. Controlling is a function of management which helps to check errors in order to take corrective actions. Management function starts with planning and ends with controlling. That's why it is said that planning is the beginning and controlling is the end result. Let's study process of controlling. So, I would teach you this topic in a very simple and easy way, but for that you need to understand this topic first. The whole controlling process is based on this chart which is called as process of controlling. Here four stages are given. First stage states set goals or also called as standard performance which means the organization or managers they are setting some goals for their organization to be performed in future second stage measure performance or it is also called as actual performance in this stage organization will see whatever they have achieved in first stage, whatever they have desired and in second stage, whatever they have achieved in reality. Third stage, evaluate performance. Here managers will evaluate what is the difference between actual performance and standard performance. What they have decided and what they achieved. And last stage is take corrective action. In this stage, corrective measures are taken by the manager. How they would take corrective actions? By comparing actual performance with standard performance. While doing this, they will come to know what are the actual reasons, what are the loopholes, why they are not able to achieve the desired set targets. And that's why they will take immediate corrective action. Let's move further to definition given by Philip Kotler. Control is the process of taking steps to bring actual results and desired results close together. Which means in order to seek desired results from subordinates, a manager needs to exercise effective control activities of the subordinates. Importance of controlling. Controlling is important in maintaining standards. It measures the deviation of actual performance from the standard performance. It means manager would try to understand the reason for failure or deviation. So here the word deviation means difference between set goals or standard performance and actual performance which we studied earlier in process of controlling. So to understand the reasons for fa failure or deviation and also discover the corrective measures this controlling function plays very important role. Let's study importance of controlling one by one. First one is fulfilling goals of organization. Controlling system guides the actions of the organization at every possible stage. Every organization set some targets and tries their best to achieve set targets. But somehow, if any deviations are found, corrective actions 
has to be taken by the organization thus it helps in guiding the organizational goals which can be achieved by performing a controlling function making efficient utilization of resources another important function of controlling is that in which resources are used in the most effective and efficient manner for the further availability of resources various techniques are used to reduce wastages resources are put to best possible use and ultimately it will generate higher productivity and efficiency so in this way through controlling function organization is able to make efficient utilization of resources accuracy of standards a good control system is that where manager verify or check whether the set standards are accurate or not this point itself throws light on some questions like set standards are achievable or not is it accurate do they have resources to accomplish the set standard are they in position to make changes etc an answer to all such question is a good control system which enables management to verify and review the set standards again and again in the light of any changes motivates employee ideally employees of the organization should be informed in advance about what they are expected to do for organization what standards are set by the organization even they should know that once the organizational objectives are achieved they are going to be rewarded maybe in the form of increment bonus promotions etc thus control motivates the employee to perform at their best level and shows order and discipline controlling creates an atmosphere of order and discipline in the organization it helps to reduce dishonest behavior on the part of the employee discipline is maintained by continuous checking of performance whenever required preventive measures or corrective actions are taken to minimize any deviations in the set targets let's move to facilitate coordination this is one of the important function of controlling which facilitates coordination among the various departments through proper coordination there is always a possibility of having a good relationship between all the department if any deviation is found in any of the departments remedial measures are applied so that desired results can be achieved by the organization psychological pressure controlling function puts a psychological pressure on the individuals to perform better due to such function employee becomes all time aware that they are under supervision someone is watching their actions and also evaluating their performance with the targets set and it is believed that such type of pressure encourages employees to perform well everyone is likely to put their best performance as they are very well aware that they are under supervision they will be evaluated and also rewarded accordingly thus this psychological pressure works as a 
motivational factor for employees to give their best result builds good corporate image due to controlling the overall performance of the organization improves managers are trying their best to bring progress and prosperity in the business all possible efforts are taken by them be it setting standards or measuring actual performance be it identifying cause of deviation or suggesting corrective measures all these efforts ultimately builds a good corporate image and brings goodwill for the business in the minds of customers employees shareholders investors etc acts as a guide control system guides the actions of the organization organizational heads take efforts to set standards and also directs the subordinates how to achieve their targets here managers as well as subordinates both work together and try their best to reach the goal through controlling function activities are undertaken in the right direction and keeps the organizational activities moving on the right track so students through this video and previous ones i tried my best to cover the whole topic of functions of management chapter 2 which is planning organizing staffing directing coordinating and controlling hope you enjoyed watching this videos all the best